Hello guys, welcome to my cooking show from my house. This is my kitchen. Today we are making a, um, a, a recipe that, uh, yes, it's easy, but it's a little bit long, but the result is absolutely fantastic. It's a polpettone in crust and we serve it with, uh, you know, a, mm, a side uh, sauce, okay? Um, you will find all the uh, ingredients for this recipe in my book, Hello Guys, you see that you find on Amazon, because the polpettone actually, um, it means, in Italian, polpettone, it means big meatballs, okay? So if you find, if you, on my book, you will find the spaghetti meatballs, and the mixture for the polpettone is the same of the meatballs. Then we had the crust, and on my book, hello guys, you will find um, hearty choke pies, a hearty choke pie. I make the, the pastry, and that's the same pastry for the crust of this polpettone. And then we have the side sauce, that it's basically, it's a tartar sauce that you will find on my, um, on my book, Hello Guys, it's a tartar sauce and um, basically it's a mayonnaise and we add some vegetables. So I am ready and you are ready because I will explain everything, how to make this wonderful, uh, you know, um, dish, a Sunday dish, okay? So on the table we have a lot of ingredients and I will explain step by step. We start with the crust. So the crust is a pastry, it's not a puff pastry. In Italy we call, the, uh, we call it pasta brisée. Um, Brise, it comes from French, brise because it breaks, okay? So for the pasta brise, for the crust, we need 300 grams of flour, okay? The half, um, so 150 grams of butter, voila, salt, of course, and uh, 75 grams of cold water that I don't have here, but uh, I'll show you later. So 75 grams of cold water. This is for the crust. Then the polpettone, the meatball, we have uh, six, seven hundred grams of minced meat. Is mixed, is veal and pork, okay? 150 grams of stale bread, a couple of spoon of chopped parsley, five tablespoons of parmigiano, grated parmigiano, two eggs, okay? Then of course, of course we have salt, uh, salt and pepper, and actually a nutmeg, freshly ground nutmeg. This uh, polpettone is something special, not only because it's inside a crust, but also because inside the polpettone we put stuff. So we put, in this case, three eggs and 150 grams of ham. Okay, this is a suggestion, of course, you can put whatever you want, like spinach, stuff, cheese, okay, this is just a suggestion. Then, for the side dish, that actually basically is a mayonnaise, so uh, you will find the recipe on my book, Hello Guys, but we have 200 grams of sunflower oil, one egg, like this, um, lemon juice and vinegar, you will see later. And then at this mayonnaise, we add some vegetables. So, so we have um, a, a carrot, I don't know if you can see, yes, a celery, capers, garlic, chopped parsley, like this. And if you are not a vegetarian, you can add also two anchovies. Okay. Woo. 
We have all the ingredients here and we start making the pastry. So stay tuned. Guys, so let's start making the pastry. As I told you, the pastry is the base if you want to make some quiche, some, uh, uh, you know, pie, uh, like the hearty choke pie that you find in this recipe. And it's very easy. I mean, of course, you can buy the um, ready-made uh, um, puff pastry, okay, in rolls in the supermarket uh, you have you know the shape the round shape or the rectangular shape but it's nice if you can do it so guys 300 grams of flour like this in a big bowl like this a hundred and it's very easy 150 grams of butter like this uh, oh actually guys and we do like this we start making something like crumbles guys like this okay voila guys do you know in your country the apple crumble it's an english cake that actually this is the same the same technique okay i go on you have to do guys like this you have to make crumbles okay i go on like this and i show you later Guys, a couple of minutes and you see, you see, they are crumbles. So just for the moment, it's just a flour and uh, um, butter. We add the 75 grams of water, it should be really cold, and a pinch of salt like this. And we mix together to make our dough. You see, it's becoming voila, little by little. You see, at this moment, we put everything on the table and we start working like this. Guys, it should be. Uh, it's very quick, of course. It's something like to make, you know, the, um, the pizza, okay? Do you remember when you were with me in Florence making the pizza? It's something like that. I go on and I, you, I will show you later. When I... Guys, guys, two, three minutes are enough. Do you see how it's clean the table, how are clean my hands? That is perfect. It means that the dough is ready. Okay, now we, um, we wrap in a film. Okay, and it goes to the, to the fridge for almost one hour. Okay, so we wrap in a film, as I told you like this voila it goes in the fridge for an hour almost one hour of course you can do it uh, probably you know the day before okay almost one hour inside the fridge guys if you make uh, more than this uh, you you can save it inside the the fridge there the the fridge okay the freezer okay so we are ready with the with the pasta brise, very easy as I told you. And we go on with the rest of the recipe. So guys, as I told you, we use the steak bread and we start with this. Steak bread, 150 grams, so we have to make it softer. Adding, you see, a glass of milk and we uh, put aside, okay, um, you know, to make it softer. Voila, we leave, we leave it here. And we go on with the recipe. So we have uh, six, seven hundred grams of um, minced meat, pork and veal. Then two eggs. One. It's very easy, guys. Um, I made it before this recipe. Probably you saw it. But I want to make this special version with the crust. So two eggs. Uh, five uh, um, tablespoons of Parmigiano cheese, 
the parsley like this, all of it. Then what else? We have salt and pepper, salt like this, and pepper. Wow, well, that's a very Italian recipe. And we go on the bread. After five minutes, the bread is soft. It's soft. It's softer. We squeeze it and we put in the mixture like this. Squeeze it very well, guys. Like this, and it goes inside. Voila! Oh, <laughs> it's squeezing everywhere. Actually, it's not my fault. Voila! And now we mix, guys, in the best way, in the best ways, as I told you before, by hands. Put your hands inside and have fun! Yeah, like, you know, like children playing. Voila! Guys, sorry, I forgot the, the, the nutmeg. Fresh, freshly ground nutmeg like this. Voila! And our polpettone mixture is ready. Do you see? It should be something like this. So guys, our mixture is ready. It's now time to form our um, our polpettone. We have, I don't know if you can see, yeah. We have a big uh, paper like this and we flatten on this uh, paper. If it is a little bit sticky, you add a little bit of water. You wet your hands, voila, it's much, much better. You flatten like this you give uh, i'll show you later the the shape uh, um a rectangular shape okay you can help yourself with a rolling pin probably is much 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 better like this and you go on guys if it is too sticky i give you a little trick a little bit of bread crumbs like this and then with the rolling pin you work very well okay so on the paper you have this shape more or less it's a, a rectangular and now we stuff our polpettone we put i hope you can see me the uh how do you call it the ham in the middle like this ham of course you can put also if you like the spinach you can put whatever you like okay in the middle or all, all over guys please leave a border free you will see later why then i put eggs and mm, ham in the middle and we roll it like this little by little uh, with the help of your paper you do something like a Swiss roll hope you can see me like this you see so do you know guys the Scottish eggs it's something like polpette, meatballs, with inside the, the boiled eggs. So when you open it, you can find the, the surprise. Do you see? You roll like this, okay? And you give the shape voila with your hands you close it like this you see 
in the middle. Voila! Our polpettone, our big, big meatballs is ready. Now, you wrap inside like this and you close like a candy. Guys, very easy. One and two. Okay. You give the shape with your hands, you squeeze. Guys, our polpettone for the moment is ready. Voila! You put inside the, um, an oven dish like this, big, big candy, and it goes, you see, it goes in the fridge for almost one hour, like, you know, the pastry. So we put it in the fridge and we go on with the, with the side sauce. Uh, so guys, it's now time to uh, to make our uh, side sauce. Um, you will find this, uh, the base of this sauce here on my book, Hello Guys on Amazon. It's basically is a mayonnaise. So here we have 200 grams of uh, sunflower oil and one egg. And with a mixer like this, uh, with a blender actually, we go like this and we start, we start preparing our mayonnaise. Do you see guys, our mayonnaise is almost thick, so it's time to add a little bit of salt, like this, a little bit of vinegar, and a little bit of lemon juice, like this, and we go on. Guys, as always, of course, the mayonnaise, you can buy a ready-made one, but if you um, uh, try to make it, uh, try to learn how to make it, that you see it's very easy, uh, you will um, choose to have a, a thicker mayonnaise, a more liquid, a little bit more acid, a little bit more lemon juice or vinegar, okay? So, I suggest you actually to uh, start making your mayonnaise. Voila! And you go on like this, actually it's ready, actually it's ready. So guys, our mayonnaise is ready and we are chopping now our vegetables. Uh, with my old-fashioned machine that uh, probably you know already, we cut uh, one carrot like this, you see. Then um, the, uh, how do you call this, uh, mm, celery, like this, one garlic, one uh, glove of, of garlic, uh, the mm, coppers, chopped parsley, and two anchovies, like this, one and two. Then we put the cup. It doesn't work. Voila! And we chop our vegetable like this by hands in a very old fashioned way. Do you see very old fashioned? But it works very well. Now we simply add the our mixed vegetables to our mayonnaise and our tartar sauce is ready. This is my um, personal family recipe. It's a little bit uh, different because we add anchovies too and uh, normally we don't put anchovies inside our uh, tartar sauce the traditional recipe. You see, I put my tartar sauce in this fancy uh, cup, uh, so our tartar sauce is ready. It's very easy, not only for the polpettone, but uh, um, as you can see, you can uh, have it with your boiled eggs, with, uh, for instance, uh, in your sandwich. I mean, it's a very versatile sauce and it's very good. So guys, here we are again. Uh, so we left our polpettone for one hour inside the fridge 
and then I cook it for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Now it should be ready. Let me check with you. Voila. <clears throat> oh, yes. You see, guys? Voila. Guys, voila. Our polpettone now is ready, it's cooked. But as I told you, now we are prepping with, um, with the dough that is in the fridge now. We are making the, how can I say, a dress. And we put, uh, you know, all around our polpettone and we cook again. Okay, so stay tuned. So guys, here we are after one hour, as I told you, the, um, actually it takes a little bit longer, but it's fine. Our dough is ready, our pasta brise is ready. Here we have our polpettone and we are preparing the, the crust with a little bit of flour, rolling pin. And we do this. Okay, we go on little by little. It's a something like actually, if you watch on my on my uh, book the the video the video for the um, artichoke pie, it's the same like this. Okay, I go on and I show you later the result. Guys, do you see? Our dough now is big enough. It's quite thin, do you see? But not too thin, okay? Like this, it's ready. We put our polpettone and with this, or with a knife, of course, we cut, let me check, like this. And now, okay, this is the back, like this, guys, do you see? And like this, we are, we are almost ready, guys, like this, you see? And you close it on the back. Voila, okay. Here, here it's fine. We we fold like this, guys. Then cooking, okay, guys. Don't throw away the the leftover because I'll show you later what we are doing. The butter, the hot of your hands, and the butter will seal our our crust you put in the, in the baking tray like this so guys as i told you don't throw away the leftover because with this you so we are making something like a decoration um, i don't know how do you call this you call you know you can have this that it's an angel yeah, we have a heart and a crown. Do you see? Yeah, well, I got this. You have a flower, cross, you have many, many molds. And I choose, of course, the heart because, as always, my heart is yours. And we cut little hearts for our polpettone that I show you later. Okay, I go on. And then later I will... I will show you later, okay? So with the leftover of our dough, I made uh, four hearts, do you see? And these ribbons. So now... Um, voila! You don't see me, okay? With the egg, uh, I brush one egg 
on the surface you see of um, our polpettone all over like this. Okay, now you can see me better. Yeah, with the one egg you brush all over everywhere like this. Then we make something very artistic. You see, voila. Now we put four hearts. Uno, one, two, three, and four. Guys, look at this. You see? Okay. And now with these strips, we cross them all over our polpettone. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Guys, look at this. Do you see with the heart and the strings? Okay, now our polpettone is ready and we go to the oven. I don't know for how long, I think uh, like, you know, the cooking of the polpettone, so 180 degrees, probably for uh, 15, 20 minutes, but I'll tell you later, so see you later. So guys, after 30 minutes, our, it's very hot. <laughs> our polpettone is ready. Do you see the decoration? Now it's brown, it looks like a big bread and inside there is the pulpitone. Um, of course, when you open it, I can't do it now because it's very hot, but you will see the pictures on my Instagram account or in my book. When you open, you will see the eggs inside. So that definitely will go in my, uh, in my book, in the, the new edition of my book, Hello Guys, that you, you find now on Amazon, but uh, I want to put this one too because it's too beautiful, okay? So guys, thank you everybody for your love and affection and follow me, tag me, take pictures and send them to me repost, and I repost them and don't forget that my heart is yours. Ciao!